What's up? It's Tuesday. And with Tuesday comes Armored Core. Where we have returned to the schedule. Before that, this isn't Enter the Gungeon, is it? It kind of looks like it did. This is Enter the Gungeon. Those are Bullet Ken. Yeah. Thought so. Cool. Don't tell Moose. This is... Okay, this isn't Journey. Oh, I think I know what game this is, but I don't know its name. Oh, no. This isn't Tiny and Big Grandpa's Leftovers, is it? No, it's not. Let's try Destiny 1. I don't know the name of this game. You, dude. I think I'm boned. There's too many of these games for me to know which one is which. I know it's not a Star Wars game, I'm just looking for more information to see if maybe I can remember it. I don't know what this is, man. Uh... Indie game, adventure, role-playing, platformer. I feel like the name started with an R. I think it was a very short name as well. Revolt. Res. No, that's the wrong res. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, I'm 90% certain it's the game that I'm thinking about. But unfortunately, I just don't know. Is it Rhyme? Nope. You got me. I'm not getting it. Prison? Sable. Okay, wait. This might not... This isn't the game I thought it was. Because I remember the character that I've seen having a weird-looking hand. And this character doesn't have that. Keywords, agents, hacking, vampire, vehicles. Masquerade. Nope. Cyberpunk, acrobatics, apocalypse, werewolves. Huh? I didn't think so. Cliffhanger, slow motion, kung fu, car chase. The Saints Row 4? Nope. Boss fight, bullet time, dual wielding, greatest hits. Is this Jack 2? Nope. It's a PlayStation 2 game, though. Licensed game, dystopian world, freeform combat, simulated reality. I don't know what this is. 
I don't think I know of any PS2 games that cross all of these lines. Greatest hits, that means it was popular. Ratchet and Clank? No, that can't be right. Hand to hand combat, in game advertising, physics manipulation, escaping imprisonment. I don't think I've seen this game before. Unless this is just like Quake 2 or something. Enter the Matrix. There are vampires and werewolves in Enter the Matrix? What? Okay. Whatever. Armored Core. Oh man. Got to move my camera. That's sick. It's okay though. Or is it? It might not be. I really hope me clicking something did not just activate Armored Core 6. Okay, I don't think it did. Ah, it, uh, it did. Never mind. So now I gotta do this. Sub tension. Not that. Don't quit the game. L title, to be honest, always with the... I'm gonna bring X into S tier. What do you mean, always with? You know how long it's been since I had a title like that? And I only do it for low tier weapons and equipment. I'm debating using the Needler. Viento. I've been posture checked. Frick you. No, nah, let's just run with the Spaz 12s. Let's continue with the story. Where we left off. Take the uninhabited floating city. Let me tell you a story, tourist. 
after the fires of Ibis burnt the planet up. A secret organization formed, hiding in the ashes. Overseer, the Association of Observers. They monitored the coral's growth, ready to burn it before the collapse came. That was their mission. Our mission. Me, Walter, and our fallen friends. RAD was always a front. A side hustle. It's time for me to get back to my real work. Let's get down to brass tacks. You've been to Xylem before, right? The floating city created by the Institute? It's hiding a secret. A little something to prepare against the coming collapse. We need to get to it and fast. RID's entire team of hackers is going to be working to take control of Xylem. I want you to deal with Archibus when they come running to see what we're up to. It's not easy enough. Overseer, the Association of Observers. They want to burn the coral. Well, it's about to mess up everything in space, isn't it? Wait. But when I think about that, how does, um... What's her name feel about burning the coral? Main system, activating combat mode. Get into position, tourist. It's time. I guess it would affect her pretty negatively. you not want the coral to be burned? Whatever your name was. We've got access to support weaponry. Use them if you need the help. Hang on a second. I'm thinking something that I did earlier made this game too loud. Or if it's just like that. You didn't die to those. What do you mean you didn't die to those? 
Didn't even touch you. Oh, they touched him. Missed it all. We're in trouble now. The tower hit reinforcements. There's a lot of them. Looks like they're falling over each other to get your autograph, Taurus. Raven, heavily armed LC. Thank you. Still more. Walter for the tip. Okay. What's up, Boone? Alright, strange for me, boy. Let me fill you in on the plan. Time to make a decision? Oh, man. While you were captured, Archibus finished their work on the vascular plant. It's pulling the coral through Rubicon's atmosphere. And it won't be long till they take it all. What does this matter? We need to burn the coral before it's too late. Of course, we can't just walk up to the plant and light a match. No, we're going to need something bigger. A lot bigger. Well, figured it out. The xylem isn't just our means of reaching the plant. It's a giant powder keg. 
Plenty to set all that coral off. <sighs> is that the observer's plan? Of course it is. You, th you should have known that this is what we were doing from the beginning. The corporations want only to devour the coral. The observers fear the coral and want only to eradicate it. I... I believe in the shared potential of humanity and the coral. I don't. What? Ren, I need to ask you something. The hell makes you think that humans are going to use the coral for anything good ever? You know how far humanity has come? No new messages. Let's just burn it all. Intercept corporate forces. Eliminate Cinder Carla. Okay, which is which? Here's the situation, tourist. Archibus has sent its entire force after the Xylem. We're trying to fend them off, but honestly, we've got our backs to the wall right now. That's where you come in. Leave the grunts to Chatty and the others. I've found someone just right for you. V1 Freud, the ace leading the corporate force. I don't like that guy. Walter left me one last card to play. You. Once you're in, there's no turning back. Can I count on you? I don't know. Probably not. And the other one? Raven, this job comes from me. Air. The Rubiconian. Overseer is planning to burn the coral to extinction. I want to keep that from happening. The only way to stop the Xylem's ascent is by seizing control of its systems. And that means we have only one choice. We'll take advantage of the confusion while the corporations and Overseer are fighting, and eliminate Carla. I understand how you feel about betraying Walter's last wishes and taking on Carla. But still, I want you to give me a chance. What the hell are you gonna I do? I'm asking Walter's hound, but Raven, the independent mercenary. What? What could you do? You're a bodiless entity that floats around in the ether, and then. You expect to take control of this battleship, but what are you going to do with it after? Take down Archivist? And even if you do, what does it matter? Coral is still Coral. The companies are still going to be after them. It's either we burn it, or we have it enslaved to humans. I don't understand your motivation, Ayer. <clears throat> Kill the corporation, or hmm, believes in the power of humanity, but why? Actually, why? The only reason anyone is on this planet is to take the coral and use it for whatever the hell humanity does with it. They're not gonna find this bodiless entity and be like, oh, hey, yeah, you're cool. We didn't know it was alive and thinking and could be like us. Sure, let's be friends. No, they're gonna be like, oh, okay, go away. Or better yet, get into this machine and make it do work for us so that we can make more money. She's a shonen meathead and it's awesome. The Rubicon Liberation Front abides with the coral. What are they gonna do? They're dead. Archivists made sure of that. Well, they're probably not all dead, but they're definitely not doing good. 
That is for certain. Which one gives me more money? This one gives me more money. Screw you, Archibus. Let's burn the coral. Raven, you've made your decision. I'm sorry. I want to see all of that coral go up in flames. I want to light the coral on fire and then see the entirety of the atmosphere of Rubicon go up in flames. Main system. Don't tell me if that is or is not what happens. All right, let's roll. We've still got time until V1 deploys. Deal with the corpse heavy hitters first. We need you to have a chance at winning this. No pressure, tourist. V2, situation report, sir. We've engaged the independent mercenary. So that's where the mutt has been. I've got fires to put out on you. My machine is breaking up! Target destroyed. Keep it Some of these death us. screens really are lackluster. We're taking a pounding, Chief. Looks like they boosted some of the PCA's best hardware. Hear that, tourist? Let Chatty handle the starboard wing for now. You need to deal with the target. But there you are. Whoa. Oh, we're going under. Let me in. You just shield me? Eliminated. Now we've got an HC. Guess Arcus likes to respond. Okay, dude. Okay, stop. AP at thirty percent. Bruh. I should be dead. Okay, stop. You can stop now. I told you not to bother me, Grunt. Handle it. AP at 30%. That missed. Of course it did. Why wouldn't it? That's cool. That's cool. Oh, I gotta reset the whole thing. There was no checkpoint. I'm real sad about those, uh... Walls, or whatever the heck, the plasma... ACS breaking me, right, right when I could've landed roll. my pile bunker. We've still got time until V1 deploys. Deal with the corpse heavy hitters first. We need you to have a chance at winning this. No pressure, tourist. V2, situation report, sir. We've engaged the independent mercenary. So that's where the mutt has been. I've got fire to put out on the ground. By all means, take charge of the Tribune. Get a load of the big mouth on him. Bruh. My machine is breaking up! Target destroyed. Keep it up, Taurus. Taking a pounding, Chief. Looks like they boosted some of the PCA's best hardware. Hear that, tourist? I'm wondering what Shaddy Stick's Let's motivation is. You need to deal with the target. Dude doesn't talk much, but why does he help this organization?
What the heck? Man, I hate bouncing off of stuff. Let me in. Open up. Come on. Open up. There we go. This ain't funny. You can stop now. Cool. Looks like we've secured the area. Resupply while you can. Where's the... Oh, there it is. Crazy to think how many people are willing to work for these corporations and then just die for them in these mechs. Coming in hot. ID code reads V1. Or maybe it's that they have no real choice. Freud's making his move. Hurry it up, tourist. Maybe it's that or a life in the gutter, as it tends to be with cyberpunk dystopias. The extremes that you would need to jump to in order to have any sort of individuality. I feel like you could have taken care of these by yourself, man. Oh, maybe not this guy. I'll move up front and draw their fire. Shield one. V one is close. Oh yeah. No rest for the wicked. Die. Turbo die. What's up, Oka? Ah, uh, yes, this mission. I don't like how you said that. Or typed it, really. Never mind. That's what we have V1 for. That makes me think something bad is about to happen. You must be a raven. Never sparred with one of Walter's hounds before. This had better be worth it. Let's get this trash out of the way. Oh wait, is it V2 that we were talking to the whole time? Ah, oh, shoot. Did she just die immediately? Oh. Ow. You just killed Chatty? Please, stop moving around. Stop! No time for fun games, Freud. Okay, you can heal too. You can ignore the mutt. Yes, Snail. You're right. Bruh. Let's continue. I'm glad I chose your company over snails. You fight like a hound on the hunt. At this altitude, I'd expect you to not now. Hot space. No matter how hard you try, you can't save Chatty. He's scripted to die. What the hell, man? Oh. What is this? Oh, it's an FCS module. Okay. I didn't know you could get those from Allmind. Incoming comms. 
I want Chatty back. Just went to say goodbye to Chatty. He was an AI I developed. Oh. Could have moved him into a new body, but well, I never could bring myself to back him up. What? Why? Taking the life out of him. You seem like you've lost someone too. What do you mean? Oh, I'm just imagining things. Wait, what do you mean it'd be like taking the life out of him? How? I guess it would be like Soma, where there's just two of him, but... I FCS for piloted ACs, developed long ago by the Rubicon Research Institute, adapted for coral data and conductors, while still faithful to core theory. Excellent processing capabilities that virtually extend the pilot's senses. Hmm. Better mid and long range, worst weight and energy load, worst close range. I don't think I need that. She sees Chatty as more than an AI, so she didn't want to make him feel like a machine by making a backup. I... Man, if Mega Man Battle Network can do stuff like that where they have the net navvies be backed up, and then they just use them whenever the main one dies. I don't see why. I don't get it. I don't get it. What's up, Rugish? They fricked? That's not... Well, I guess that is possible. There are machines for that, but... I don't know the plot. It shows. Destroy the Archivist Interceptor Fleet. Bro, you can't bone an AI? I'll brief you on Says the who? Job, People do it all the time. The Xylem is just inside the Carmen line, skimming the border of outer space. Meanwhile, Archibus still hasn't taken full control over Rubicon's closure system. They're locked out of the satellite cannons, making this their last line of defense. We'll be fighting their interceptor fleet in the air. But we're not totally screwed. This area of space is thick with residual coral from the fires of Ibis. Take a dip in the coral flow, and you could draw on an unlimited source of energy. That's all, tourist. Break through the fleet, and the vascular plan is ours. I think that was Iyer. Oh, if I had to guess, we're about to fight her at some point. Do I have... Oh, I actually have infinite energy because of the coral thing. Okay, that's sick. I can just fly wherever I want. This is great. Too far. expect me to take out this entire oh oh we've lost the vanguard main fleet maintain formation I 
How about to zap me, are you? Okay, you're not. Good. these things become an actual threat. each other with those. Okay. Eight interceptors down. I scored two more. We're not done yet. Nine. Last one. Are we saving it? It's that Vespa. That's no arc of this AC. Even with the combined might of the corporations, I couldn't stop you. But this new AC can. I don't know about that one. Well, that explains it. Sharon, you said you wanted to set the atmosphere on the fire. What do you think will do to the planet and everyone on it? Okay, that's true. But, I mean, the coral will still do something bad, won't it? Damn it, you weren't supposed to heal. You can stop now. You can stop now. Oh, no. You can't heal again, right? Stop. What? No, you have the anime. Why do you have anime? Things will change, but I'll remember you. Why do you have the anime? <laughs> Damn it, Rusty. Outplayed.
mind might of the corporations, I couldn't stop you. But this new AC can. Well, that explains it. I don't know why, but it looks like he was using the corpse too. Okay, you can stop. Stop! Always were at your best under pressure, buddy. But this ends here and now. They've always been after Rubicon, taking what they can get. Someone has to put an end to this injustice. Look at me, tourist. Just make Please? Sure no? This. Okay. This is the only actually difficult AC fight in the game. No, dude, no, no. There we go. I feel a bit bad, but... Rusty is the main pro tag. Do him a favor, tourist. Remember him. <laughs> Satellite cannons? No way. This isn't right. There's no way the corpse took the closure system. Who's controlling them? There's no way your reach extended that far. At least I didn't think it did. Oh, did I get... I got Rusty's mech. Okay. Augmented human, C4621. Entering standard mode. Better attitude stability, worse AP. Better system recovery. Better boost speed because less weight. What the? This looks weird. Better boost speed, everything else is worse. Just about the same, save for boost speed and attitude stability. Not attitude stability. Uh, AP, defense, whatever the heck. Wasn't reading the rest of it. And these aren't reverse jointed, so I'm not using them. Shut down the closure satellites. Raven. I was the one who fired the satellite cannons. Thought so. I didn't think he would just admit to I it, though. You, you've made your choice. Then I must do my duty. As a Rubiconian. I'm waiting at the closure station. Come to me, Raven. I'm still just... Oh, what the hell is in my eye again? I'm still... uncertain 
or confused about Ayer's attachment towards 621. This ship's pretty roughed up. Autopilot's out. We'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. I'll leave the satellites to you, tourist. <sighs> you know, for a tourist, you've got a sense of humor. Good luck out there. This is sick. Raven. I know you can still see it. The voices of the call. And yet you turned your back on our shared potential. You want to silence us forever. actually giving me goosebumps. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I didn't really want to walk that path. You just showed up in my head. Dash around a lot. Thirty percent. AP at fifty percent. The fact that you call him six two one and not Raven says everything. AP. What do you mean? It's probably because she's attached to your brain, but I, I guess I just don't view that as enough. I don't think I'm gonna win this fight, by the way. She's kind of crazy. She's got a lot of defense going on. And this isn't even phase two. Whenever that should show up. Come on, dude. And I still missed the pile bunker. Oh. Come on, double. Was this one of the bosses that got nerfed? No, that's Volteus. It's just Volteus? I thought there was more. Frick me. It's... yeah, we're done. Yeah, no. Go to next. Don't cut me! Okay. You got me. You invested 100% in quick boost and you did not. I don't think so. I thought Volteus, Sea Spider, and Ibis got nerfed. Right. Ibis too? I'm surprised if Ibis got nerfed. He wasn't that hard. Main system. Activating combat mode. Sea Spider may be kinda, but I don't understand Ibis. Don't 
satisfaction. Bio bunker. Okay, I've been ACS broken. your build didn't have so much quick boost. I'm also wondering where she got this mech from. I guess she just hijacked an AI-controlled one, or... No, wait, she controls Coral, so this is probably a sea weapon that she's taking control of. You're actually Virgil Devil McCrack. Okay. You freaking killed me! Okay, I think the voice actress for Iyer did a very good job in this instance. She didn't have to emote that much before, and even then when she did it felt pretty alright, but right now it's, it's great. Why didn't you heal? I thought I did. I was mashing the up key. There's a way to cheese this, Lamal. Don't tell me. One of the vanilla final bosses. This is a harder one. I did the other one ending, and the boss was way story-wise. Sorry. The boss was story-wise fantastic. It was also way too easy. Uh, oof. Frick you. Stop with the sword! It hurts! Oh, my... My pile bunker was out for some reason. Don't know why. Okay, we're restarting this one. Main system, activating combat mode. It's not even a cheese to be honest, you just put your back into a wall and just spam bullets. What? Why would that work? Never mind, don't tell me. Ammo story-wise, the worst ending. This is the worst ending, but gameplay-wise, this ending is more fun. I'm digging this ending so far. I like fighting Iyer. I can't wait to see Rubicon blow up. Oh, frick you. What broke me? Two, her attacks don't seem as hectic. It's possible they nerfed her but kept it hidden to not spoil people since naming this boss is a spoiler, right? Nerfing bosses, resident sleeper. Yup. That's why I've said before that it would be better if they gave you the option of having the easier uh the easier boss. As like different game modes basically, rather than just nerfing it and calling it a day. Unless it's something that's jank with hitboxes. 
Like supposedly, um, what's his name had in Elden Ring. How you doing, Trashy? A Y N N. What the hell? Damn, that comes back fast. Dangerous. I hold nothing back. Two repair kits remaining. Stop boosting around for two seconds, please. Oh, pile bunker. I realize what you are the spark of war, fires that haunt Rubicon. Uh, this isn't good. I've been lasered. Okay, all right, you can you can chill. You can chill. Please stop. No repair remaining. Oh wait, do you have shadow clones that are hitting me in the back now? Is that what's going on? Oh, that's not cool. You have something that's hitting me. Uh, you do have shadow clones. Oh no, no, that was my chance! Damn it! Yeah, they definitely nerfed her. Sword attacks were bigger and used to track harder. Oh, what the hell? Kill your neighbor, free guild. That's what that stood for? Hey! This, this isn't funny. The KYS stuff, or KY whoever, it's, it's not a funny joke. I'll say it. At least it's not... No, it's, it's not funny in 90% of its context. Especially not something to enter with. I would like to request that you stop. Uh, my favorite scene that video on Twitter of Nerf Balteus where all the homing missiles can be dodged now by just jumping up and letting yourself fall. What the hell? Ouch. This sucks. I wanted to pile bunker you. Really did. Ow. Ow. When you were allowed, you would be like... You would like to beat a harder boss. Picking an easier version is like taking an L already. IMO just don't need the boss. Buff it and make the community cry a hecking river. <laughs> if the context is a pick of low tier god, then sure, it can be funny because there's a visual to go along with the rest of it. But... And that's a running gag. Just using text in a, ch a chat room to type in the three letters that mean this. It's not it's not funny. There's nothing going on. There's nothing going on, you're just being hostile for no reason. Which from my perspective is not funny at all. Sekiro had a bunch of stuff people complained about. Sword Saint Ishin took me so long he never got nerfed. <laughs> uh Steve, I'm gonna be honest, you might have to give up on the pile bunker for ire. No, I refuse. Please stop cutting me. Stop cutting me up! No, 
no, I almost had another posture break. Two repair kits remaining. AP at 50%. AP Bad. I feel like that shouldn't have touched me. Ouch. One repair kit remaining. Okay, cool. That did not make contact. That's cool. Incoming double Zims, double Songbirds. That is not what I will do. They needed Radon. They nerfed Radon, I remember. Yeah, but wasn't that because his hitboxes were janky? Something like that? If that was the case, then... I can kind of understand it. If they're way bigger than they look like they're supposed to be, then... That's that. Oh boy, banned the word I. We get more original every day. Why don't you switch the other one? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go back to working and finish S ranking missions. Good luck. Kill you as soon as I figure out how to dodge these sword swings. Ouch. I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, there it is. Is a FromSoft game the F is this boss? Yes, this is a FromSoft game. Armored Core has been a FromSoft game since, like, the first game. Pretty sure. I don't remember the Radon nerf, but the difference was drastic. Ooh. I wish I got to fight Radon before he got nerfed. Come on! Two repair kits remaining. UP at fifty percent. I'm not gonna change my build. Not for you. I know I can beat you with this. I. Okay. Oh, I was joking, didn't know, to be honest. Well, now I'm enjoying this stream. What? I think I beat Radon pre-nerf, but I had to summon all the extra guys to help me because I had a hell of a time dodging anything but the arrows he fired. <laughs> didn't dodge for iframes? I sleep. Hey, still cutting me up. I'm very surprised that I broke your shield. I'm also surprised that that sword swing didn't touch me. That one's touching me, though. Please. AP at 
Wild Hunter. Stop boosting around! Please! switched. Why? Why? Probably that might have ended it if I had landed. Uh, some people fighting post nerf were on, and he wasn't nearly as strong. Lower damage looked like he had HP reduction too. Do you dodge? Then he'd get tagged by you dodge. Then get tagged by some lightning hitbox. It was BS. Oh, gravity attacks lingering is the funniest thing he had. <laughs> Damn, were they that active? Lightning. Lingering. Whoops. Again with this. Again with switching to the pile bunker and the attack doesn't start charging. We're fine. Eyes are focusing too much on her. I'm not noticing the shadow clones coming out, so they slash me for free. And then I lose 50% of my health. Main system activating combat mode. I should change my right shoulder weapon. I should go for the the tracking lasers. Or the tracking laser drones, whatever they're called. Nice. Did 
get worried there. As long as we start second phase faster. The song of war. Fires that haunt Rubicon. Now I see him. I'm glad that those missed. Please pile up there. Thank you. Humanity wants to burn it all. Everything on Rubicon. I won't let you. Your fire must die. No repair kits remaining. AP at 50%. Back here. How do you believe? There was never any dream shared, Ayer. All you had were your delusions. Just slam it through the orbital cannon? Oh, are we... We're blowing up the whole ship. About Cinder. There were no winners at the close of the Coral War. When the storm of fire finally faded, only the ashes of civilization remained. Ruined and haunted, the corporations made a joint announcement with the Planetary Closure Administration. Rubicon was to be abandoned, left a dead planet forever. Meanwhile, the monster who burned the stars vanished into the flames, never to be heard from again. Yet history would forever remember. The Fires of Raven. No, oh, it's either sacrifice Rubicon and just burn all of that to save the rest of civilization from whatever the Hell Coral might be able to do, or side with Ayer and save the Coral, but I don't know exactly what would happen should you do that, and I don't want anyone to tell me because I am going to play this game again, but probably off stream. Still, that's the end of that. What's up, Hermit? What's up, Dog the Dog? How you guys doing? 
Congrats, you did one ending. Sure it did. And there are what, two more, or is there only one more? Congrats, Strange, you killed everyone, including Carla, by the way. Why you pronounce Ire like Ire? Because she said it like Ire. 621. Whoops, did I kill everyone? I don't think it's a whoops moment. I think that was, not even I think, that was a I did it on purpose moment. I like the explosion, by the way, and how there was no sound in it until it got nearing um, to 621, because, you know, space, no sound, sound needs a medium, there's a whole lot of nothing in space. You either say air or ire, and both are correct. Oh, hey, pre-nerf Voltaic. <laughs> I'm still wondering about Carla and how she would have survived the first fires. The fires of, uh, Ivis. But, that's crazy to think about. You burn everything, but you survive, but don't ever show yourself again. That makes me wonder what your motivation was in the first place. What is 621's purpose? Why did he come here, wreak havoc for the corporations and the Rubicon Liberation Front, just to destroy the entirety of the planet? Game sucks? No, the game's good. The game's great. You burned it because Walter told you to. That's it? Then I'm wondering why... Oh, I guess you still feel a bit of shame. That's why 61 doesn't ever show his face again. That's my guess. You burn the coral because Walter tells you, and then don't ever show your face again because you still know that you killed everyone on Rubicon and all of the coral that was sentient. <laughs> the main reason I decided to burn the coral, by the way, was just because I didn't want the rest of humanity to use it for whatever the hell nefarious purposes they intended to. I'm still the good guy. I just want to make sure you all know. I mean, also because 61 probably has a massive bounty on his head after that. Ah, uh, that's too, that's true, that's true. You're very much the bad guy in this ending. Nah, I'm the good guy, I told you. I'm saving whoever from Coral, or something. English voice cast, Ayer Aaron Yavit. Very good. Very good voice actor. And I did not see who Walter was, but that was, um... It did say Patrick Seitz, right? Ragna, the Blood Edge. Patrick Seitz? Yeah, thought so. Ragna, the Blood Edge. I can't believe Ragna got isekai to multiple different video games. Not just Armored Core. Literally Ragna, and he does a damn good job. He really does. He was kind of shaky in the beginning of Blaze Blue, I want to say, but nearing the end of that, and then everything else after, he was great. The person who voiced Ayer, what other stuff have they done? Because I kind of want to check that. Waiting for Ragnar to show up in Sephiroth fight for FF7 Rebirth. I... Is he a voice actor in that game? Does he voice Sephiroth? He doesn't voice Sephiroth, right? Am I crazy? Hey, Steven, what now? Uh, good question. I was thinking... Either... I don't really want to play Armored Core online. Um, I don't want to start replaying the story yet. 
I could just turn this into variety, and the thing that I had in mind was playing some party animals. Just playing with randoms online. I don't know how many of you guys have seen that game. Fires VA voiced Alachino? Arlachino? I have no idea how to say... Sorry, not how to say who that is. Well, I don't know how to say it either, but that's from Genshin. Oh. Okay, I haven't touched that game, ever, and I don't intend to. Man, guys, why don't we have a Souls-like roguelike game? I really don't understand why that does not exist. The closest we have is Dead Cells, and while that is a great game, it's only two-dimensional. I would like a 3D game that does that same formula. I feel like it wouldn't be... Well, it would be difficult because you would need to make everything, sculpt it all in 3D, program it all the same way that you would a normal game, and then add the element of randomness and make sure that it doesn't break consistently with that. So I don't exactly know how difficult that might be to put together, but I still wonder why it doesn't exist at all yet when we have some 3D roguelikes. You of all people, I thought you would be a Genshin enjoyer. What makes you say that? I swear to God, if you say anything about me being a VTuber watcher. The average VTuber enjoyer. I mean, man. The actual closest we have is Bloodborne and Chalice Dungeons, and those kind of suck. But that's just because they're made by people, random people, right? And then posted online, and you get a random one. It's like playing Mario Maker, but for, you know, a Souls game. While the base formula of Bloodborne is fun. Hmm. Playing back message. Sender. Handler Walter. Six two one. Looks like you got the job done. You chose to carry our burden and right the wrongs of the past. I'm sorry. And I'm grateful. 621. There's nothing left to bind you. Whatever choices you make now, I just hope you find your true potential. So, you're not dead. I figured you were. Does that mean that he wasn't on Rubicon? Or... He must have been... He was taken in by Archibus, right? No, Walter was dead. Oh, so then that was a timed message. Call sign, Raven. Authentication complete. Removing MIA status. Restoring access privileges. Oh, is this, this the beginning is of the game again? The yeah, this is. support system. Raven, you've returned. Welcome back. All Mind anticipates great things from you. Right. Looks like you passed the authentication. That was quite the welcome home. Well, whatever. Raven. That's who you are now. You're on Rubicon. I just throws you I back in. I some huh? work for you already. Take a look, six two one. That's strange that it would just do that. At least I think it is. Um. You know, it's not how Chalice dungeons work. They're all randomly generated, but you can share your randomly generated dungeon with others to run. Oh, that's strange. Patrick telling you to pick a different ending will mal. <laughs> broke his heart. What do you mean I broke his heart? I did what he wanted me to do. Also, Patrick was the ramen guy from Naruto. 
That's the, the Ichiraku ramen guy, the one that always made Naruto's ramen. That's strange. That was a pre-recorded message. Okay. Ragna helped Naruto become the man he is today. Oh no. I have him to blame. It means that some people got a chalice dungeon that had super good loot and they shared it. So there was like a Google Doc with all these codes to run so you could get really good gems and whatnot. That sounds kind of cool though. At least if you're attempting to farm all the good gems. In the game. But... That's still not quite what I'm looking for, because, you know, the main the main meat of Blood... I almost said Blood Bowl. Bloodborne is still running through the place, the actual game crafted by FromSoft themselves. Not the Chalice Dungeon. I'm talking about everything intended to be in the game are each individual... I almost said seed. That's not the right word. Chunk. Crafted by the dev devs and then you go through randomly pick up random weapons and then use them and you know the same way dead cells would be but in a three-dimensional sense or the same way 30xx would be but also again in a three-dimensional sense chalice dungeons are almost mandatory farming if you're if you main an arcane build like i do ew why don't i just go ahead and start ff13 it's gonna take 20 hours before the game gets good anyway no, we're starting FF13 next week. That's for sure. Right now, the only thing that I'm thinking about doing is some variety. That being... Uh, party animals, specifically. I don't remember which one of these I did first. Oh wait, I have to do both of them anyway. So, wow, you complete the game and then it just tosses you back in. I'm telling you guys, I'm the good guy. I saved the rest of the universe and the rest of humanity from whatever the hell the coral was going to spread through space and do. I'm the good guy. You sure are copium. New game plus plus is where the game actually changes. Hmm. Few extra changes on New Game Plus, but not as much as people make it out. I... You don't even know if there is a rest of the universe, though? What do you mean I don't know? Why wouldn't there be? We all came to these planet. We all came to Rubicon in a spaceship, right? We had to get blasted out of an orbital cargo cannon or something to get onto the planet in the first place. You also genocided a whole planet. Everyone on it, plus the coral, which you know because of ire, is a sentient organism. Genocided an entire planet. I wasn't quite thinking about it like that. I mean, I was, but when you actually put it into words, it hits a little bit different. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, I never figured out what exactly I needed to do with my last OST chip, did I? Boost kick or quick turn? I don't even know why I got weight control, that doesn't do anything for me. Maybe I should turn it off. Go for pulse armor and then switch that in. Or something. Either way, I don't feel like... Right, we're, we're done with AC. We are done 
good game. In fact, I would say it's a great game. Part of me wants to say I'm not entirely sure if it's worth its full price, but I... One problem is I'm playing it off of a friend's library, so I can't really make that judgment. The other thing is, I haven't played the post-game, which I know that there is a lot of, so I can't... I can't make that judgment still. I'm even less qualified to make that judgment. Play Pseudo Regalia, isn't that game like 11 bucks that I don't have? Wordle break? That's not what's gonna happen. What is going to happen though is a short bathroom break for like a couple of minutes. I'll probably run an ad or two while that's happening. And then when I get back, uh, I was going to start up some party animals. So give me a second. I will return. Check this music out. What's up? It's me. Again. Honestly, I don't know why I brought it back to the game view. I should have done this in the first place because I'm about to close the game. Wrong with me. And then we're about to play some party animals. Strange runs ads. Me turns on ad block. Banned. Smiley face.
check email. What? I mean, check email. Eh. Oh. Bruh. Thanks. I already had a plan. You. You. Double Nergigante. <laughs> Thanks. I've altered the plan. No, you haven't. I'll play the game. I will. I just don't know <laughs> when. Stop. Don't give me free stuff expecting me to play it. Ah! I really want to play a party animals. I, I do. I really want to play party animals. I'm going to play party animals. Uh, what do I name this? I can't wait to get hit by... That's my... By gamer words in the children's animal game. I don't know where to place my camera. Wait, there's no UI. I can just put it in the bottom right. That's loud. Okay, so did you do the push-ups? No, I didn't. And I will now. As soon as I position these correctly. On the playtest will end in 30 minutes, the game will shut up automatically. Come on, bro. I just got here. <laughs> I swear, dude. Sometimes it really do feel like God hates me. Between what happened Sunday, Monday, and today, this just ain't my week. Guys, pick an animal for me. The second I get the hammerhead shark, there's no, there won't be any more decisions. But for now, pick an animal from what I have. We got corgi, uh, alligator, cat, otter, whatever you are, duck, rabbit. Unicorn, goose, gorilla, another dog, and then a bull or something. A cow? What's up, Psionic? Yo, never knew you were into pet simulators. Where's Valk? Good question. Valk is right here? Question mark? A gorilla, obviously, bruh. No, God just seems to love moose today. <laughs> sure. Oh, wait, how do I? Hang on. Since you told me to play the gorilla. Oh, wait, no, I can't. I have to pick that in game, I think. How does this work? See that gorilla is as Ryle. You right. You right. You know what? I'm proud of it. I don't gotta think. I just get to run my offense. I don't know anything about Lollipop Factory. What am I supposed to do? Carry candies back to the base to earn points. That's 
つあ、oh. OK。Throw the small candies around. Good to see. A deal of gorilla for sale. So I just did a no damage against the Nort Court? Nort Court? Yeah, as in the, the real Organization 13? The one right. The one in Scala at Kylo? Much harder than your Zora. Oh man. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Congrats. That's sick. We got an AFK teammate. I'm gonna kill that guy. I'm gonna kill him. Ah! That's my teammate. Stop it! That's. What? Kill him! Kill his ass! I need help. <laughs> nah. What? Get back here. Get out of here. Get your ass over there. Big one is all that matters. Stop fucking with the little ones. Got him. Oh, wait, why am I dead? Why am I dead? Whatever, don't matter. Ooh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Get out of here. That's mine. Did you know you can infinite loop young Xehanort? I did not, actually. Ugh. Pull the lever, Kronk! Pull the lever, Kronk. Pull the lever! Not that lever. That's my head. Pull the lever! I swear to God! What's wrong with you people? Are you kidding me? We're throwing. We're throwing. I'm about it. Who the fuck is the rest of red team? Can you help us with the big one? <laughs> oh my god. Let me up, because you fell, duh. But like, honestly, I didn't think I was on top of the- Get off of me. What are you doing? What's wrong with you? Let go of me. That's some shenanigans that he knocked me out. No, wait, don't do it. No, wait, let's talk about this. Ha! All right. Better yet, if we can... Oh, you're going that way. I see now. Who just got KO'd? The big one. They're about to win, because they're getting the smaller ones. And we're just... Yeah, we're crabs in a bucket. We're all working against each other. Literally just attack, rising spiral, air dash, attack, rising spiral, etc. That's all you gotta do. 
What's up, Gerlocker? You're a gamer word, Mr. Streamer Man? That's racist. That's crazy. Oops, I didn't want to add that photo to the album. I can't believe Gert Locker is actually racist. That's insane. I think you know a guy. Black Hole Lab. I just realized now, I don't think I actually separated the... Ah, uh, whatever, who cares. I guess I could still... Uh, I could still separate the VODs if I just split the, the VOD in... The, um, video editing software I got. Then I gotta re-render the whole thing... That's not fun. That's not fun at all. Also, Storm, do you accept my offer? I need you to do it. What? Gustav, Tiger, Cobra, Leopard, Black... Black Hawk, Stinger, Azrael, Enchanted Dragonov. Wait, why are you going from Enchant Dragonov... Sorry, from... Black Hawk, Stinger to Patriot Apocalypse. How does that work? Get back here. What's up? Uh, well, we're about to get... Hey, wait, stop, 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 stop! Let's talk about this! We got better things to do. A split now and skip first match? Why are you making this harder than it has to be? Because I like when life is difficult, that's why. Knock him out! There we go! Die! Back here. Bruh. Okay. That's not that's not my teammate, good. Rapid cancel. You can't rapid cancel a super I'm gonna die. You can't rapid cancel a super into a no, no, I'm not dead. What do you mean I'm not dead? Oh, we went. Can't rapid cancel a super into an astral. That's not how that works. Oh, that's not good. Stop! <laughs> Killed himself. Okay. I ain't gonna argue with that. Works for me. You can go away. Get off of me! Uh, that's not fair! No! Okay, we're good. That's a bomb. Shoot. What's up, Zane? Hell yeah, now this is a real video game. Sure is. I've been shoveled by my teammate. That's kind of painful. Kill him. Kill his ass. Better yet, I'll kill his ass. Ah! Kill him! Ugh! No! He got me. He got my ass. I'm dead. I'm done for. There's nothing I can do. You see what you did? Now both of us are screwed. Whatever. I think we win, right? No, there's still one more. Alright, who's getting fished? It's actually not a question. I know who's getting fished. The second I get the chance to. This is the perfect time to summon Playhead to make monkey jokes because now he actually has a context to do it. He yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can actually make this bomb count. Both of them are touching the chain. No, that bomb! We lost... wait. We win. Whoop. 
My teammate's carrying the hell out of us. Got him. Die, you stupid idiot. That would have been a kill. That would have been a... Uh, got decked by my shark friend. Go away. Go away. Go away! What's wrong with you? Are you stupid? Second time. Not like this. Exactly like this. Stop. Yeah! Don't you ever cross me again. You're... Annoying. You're very annoying. I hope you know. Oh, thank God. I've been fished. They're trying to fish me. Damn. Oh, thank God you can't go out. about the 10 ton hammer this man's forehead as soon as I pick this hammer up please pick the hammer up thank you damn this isn't good oh this isn't good at all Whatever, man, we win. That's all I care about. This isn't fair. It's not fair. Well, I was here. Here for what? Update. What do you mean, update? Am I able to keep playing? Is there another playtest? Failure. Error occurred. Missing executable. That was the update? To remove the ability to execute the game? Alright. I guess that's one way to stop people from playing the playtest. What now? I still don't want to play pseudo regalia. FF13 time? Hell no. I'm about to start up Hollow Cure. MK1. I don't have that game. How did the SF6 commentary go, by the way? I tuned in, but I had something to go on. Something going on, so I had to had it in the background. It did not go nearly as smoothly as I wanted. Uh, what? Mm. I want to preface this that I have nothing against the those individuals running the HD gaming group. So, the whole thing was moderately disorganized. And that threw me off. On top of that being the first time that I've commentated anything, so I was nervous. There were a handful, a number of things that were on me. Like, there being dead air and me trying to... I should have been able to fill it, but I just wasn't. I was only really able to say things when legitimately watching a match and then trying to commentate what was going on there. But I'm not even sure that I was actually analytical enough about the situations going on. I don't really feel proud of that. 
the parts that were bugging me were, say, not getting player names before they were showing up on screen. So, I... I felt like I was... Not necessarily left hanging, but in a weird place, because I'm looking in the chat for seeing who's up next on the stream, and I'm like, wait, what? what's going on? Who's next? I'd like to say, but I guess I can't. Oh well. And then the next part that bothered me was not having like a set time to DQ people. So we're supposed to just fill the dead air for an indefinite amount of time. And that's not something that I knew how to do. The rest of the stuff was still on me though. Like not knowing how to fill that dead air with anything that wasn't related specifically to Street Fighter 6. I, I need practice with that. That's uh... That's an issue that I've just had for a long time. I leave a lot of dead air for a number of topics, and then I just haven't decided to fix it, I guess. I haven't gotten around to doing so. Also, I'm going to change my game to just chatting for the time being, I guess, because I got bodied. John, please become MK1 commentator. I want you to destroy MK1s online. What? How? Why? What do you mean? Capcom was plotting on your downfall. Oh yeah, and then there's that too. The day that I'm supposed to commentate, CFN goes down. And then the day that I commentate in place of it, the day after, the same problem. I, but in a different way? Question mark? I... <laughs> And then there's today, like, this is, the whole thing with party animals is the reason why I said God hates me, but now I actually believe it. Before I was memeing, now I know it's true. Want to restate, they had a lot of technical issues, yeah. I noticed the signs of things going wrong when I heard you saying, hey, what's up, get looped infinitely at the start. Yep. I, I, the, the intro was the only thing that I was proud of, and then that, that gets decimated from a factor that is out of my control. <laughs> it's not fair. I think you did your best, to be honest. I'd like your commentary if that matters. I do feel like you should work on talking on some things in detail. You'll do it once you become MK1 commentator and make the game go offline all the time with your Kurtz. <laughs> At least that techni technical issue was funny. True. Oh yeah, I read your response to help with the name thing. You don't always have to know who's playing before the match begins. You can just mention names after the match starts. That doesn't feel right, though. I feel like I should know who is playing when they're playing. It feels wrong to just name the... The whole point is that it's a tournament, right? It's the individuals, two individuals facing off against each other. They are setting... An example for their own kind of play style, their own character, who they are as an individual. I should address them as such. I should give them that kind of respect. I don't believe I was given the ability to do so. And doing it after the match has already taken place just feels wrong. You know what? Let's play some Omega Strikers so I can mauled at everyone because no one knows how to play an offense. With how disorganized they were, calls for unorthodox methods. I guess. One of the other things that bugged me when I went back to actually look at the video itself was that the audio balancing was a little bit weird. I feel like the game was too loud and the commentators were too quiet. I might talk to them about that, assuming I get the chance to do that again. I, I'm kind of wishing I got the opportunity to be part of the behind the scenes of the setup of the tournament, rather than only the commentator part, because I feel like some of the things I would have been able to, some of the problems I would have been able to fix, but I'm not sure. I can't necessarily just, oh hey, a porn game is on sale. Sorry, that was a bit out of left field. Uh, I was looking at my Steam. Um, 
uh, I shouldn't spend this whole time, like, what feels like bad-mouthing the work that they put in to make their whole FGC, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Corner? That's not right. Tournament? Or event? Event, that's the word. Event. Because that would be wrong. I don't think that it was bad. I just... Unfortunately, when I got out of it, my only thought was that could have been better. Porn game pog. Shout out to Steven for guiding me to my first and only game of Omega Strikers. I'm sorry about that, Moose. Hang on, I'm going to split the VOD real quick. 